So apparently I need to start this video at 444 for somebody out there who's going to stumble on this. Um, I have called her and said, girl, what she doing? So she said she coming right out. So I'm waiting for her to come right out. Um, but you know what we can do while we're waiting? Let's pull a tarot card. Um, go down. Okay. So I, apparently I set up these cards to come out for a reason before. So we're going to just go to the third card down, which is three of fire, um, which I believe in regular tarot is three of wands, which is about abundance. Your intuitive messages are bringing about a life path that will bring in abundance and we are all coming into abundance. We are in abundance. We need to pull it into physical form to get that abundance here. And abundance is not just about paper. I have an abundant birthday and this was the physical gift that I got, but everything else was food, love, joy, happiness, a healing, um, and good energy. And that's, that is, I'm so grateful to creator, source, God, divinity, um, for providing that today on my birthday and showing me in this gift that is Richie's rainbow ride from divinity to just step into that light and just embrace it. Um, you know, you could pick up a penny today that makes no sense, but there could be a number on that penny that you need to look up that could point you in a direction someplace and that's following synchronicities. Or you could pick up multiple pennies and as you're picking them up, sometimes a message will come through. There have been times where I've asked creator to bring me God, say, oh, divinity, bring me something. And I see a penny, I'm like, oh, it's just a penny. And then I started to realize you pick up one penny that penny can turn into a dime. You pick up that dime, then you got quarter, then you get a dollar. You see how it kind of builds? You're building an energy ball. And that light bulb kind of went off, I think it was maybe last week, to start picking up a penny. A penny a day is $3.65 in a year. Now imagine if you pick up a penny every time you see it, and then you find a dime, and then you find a quarter. Maybe someone gives you a dollar. Maybe someone gives you $20. And you start an energy envelope. Yeah, oh, we're, we're sharing the energy, an energy envelope. And watch how much divinity actually gives you in monetary form. Now, granted, you could have a windfall. Somebody out there may be getting a windfall, you know, just saying if that's coming through, there's usually somebody out there. Um, and then other forms of abundance. It could be clothing, it could be this, it could be that. There's so many different layers of abundance. Society has taught us that we need money to feel successful. We need a high credit score. We need no credit card debt. We need this, we're a number. And we're, we're so far from any of that. We're not any of that. We are abundant. Gaia is bursting with life, abundant life. There is no lack. That's a program, that's an illusion. Money is an illusion, but abundance, that's real. So when you're out there questioning, why am I doing this? What's going on? Just roll with it. I mean, obviously things that are of a positive nature, you know, <laughs> and just, like I said, just roll with it and see, see what happens, see what transpires, see what opens up and just keep letting it roll and letting that ball of abundance roll and seeing what manifestations you've asked for, how they're laying out because we're so consumed by how. And I got stuck there. How do I do this? How do I do this? And the one that's about to get in my car, I'm going to let this video just keep recording because here she comes. Here she comes. She got a smile on her face and everything. Oh, here we go. Thanks, oh. thanks Uber driver. Oh, Uber driver. Uh, All right. Uber so driver. Just, just so you know, Miss Lees, yeah. I recorded a 10 minute video already. Oh. And I had to fill my video, which was so very interesting. And now I did a little tarot card reading about abundance, which is something that we've spoken about. Okay. So everybody, welcome to Richie's Rainbow Ride. This is Lisa. Hi, everyone. Yeah. But I just have to say this. This car is fabulous. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. I love it. You have to be in it to really get the experience of it. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it. Do you understand why I said we have to do this in the yes. car? Because there's a whole energy in the car. Yes. The, the, the car has an energy and uh, it, it's shut. 
See, she's embracing the unicorn. The <laughs> this magic. This is like your office. I feel like I'm in your space, like your 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 office. The high vibration yes. environment, exactly. Yes. And I saged oh the car God. before you came in, which is why I have this over here. So we did a little video before about saging. Okay. Um, so I met Lisa uh, volunteering for Reiki work in the cancer center in a hospital. Where was the hospital? Eaton Town. Eaton Town. In, I believe uh, Long Branch, one of those. One of those two yeah, places, yeah. yeah. In between those two. And I saw her from across the room and I just knew I had to go speak with her. I just knew I had to go speak with her. And we have spoken ever since that day that we introduced ourselves to each other. And she has helped me a lot on my growth and, and vice versa. But today, today she introduced me to something and I'm gonna just call myself out on my own shit. I had an ego moment and I was totally judgmental. Like, how is this gonna work and blah, blah, blah. Well, it worked. And like I said in my other video, she's gonna describe it from her perspective because the way she describes it is just awesome. But first and foremost, two things I wanna ask really fast from you. One, your awakening. What, when did, how did that come about? Okay, let's try to go back from the beginning a little bit. All right, my awakening. Let's before we get to my awakening, let's talk about how you and I met and my journey up until that point. Um, before I met you, I was always a seeker. I was always looking for people to bring me to a, a higher level, or open doors for me, or bring me to a different dimension, or um, for me to learn from, or for them to teach me stuff, or to help me on my journey. So when I met you that day, I said to myself, I have to get to know him because I saw you doing all this and coding and all that. Coding. I'm like, what is he over there doing? <laughs> I'm like, he knows something that I need to know. <laughs> he has information that I need to that I need to know. So I was always in the position that I was the student. I'm the student. Everybody around me is my teacher. And I'm just there learning from everyone. So when we met, and I'm you didn't know this. When we first started hanging out, going to breakfast and lunch, I was very intimidated. You didn't know that. I was intimidated because I felt as if you, I didn't have anything to offer you. So I'm saying, why would you want to be around me? I have nothing to offer you. I felt like you were always going to be giving me, giving me, giving me, and I had nothing to give back. So it wasn't until a couple of, I guess last week, that I experienced my first shift with you, where I realized I'm here to bring him something as well to the table. I was put in his life for a reason. You were already bringing me something from the first day I met you. You had a personality that was joyous and bubbly and so light lifting. See, I, didn't, I never realized that about myself. So when I realized that I had a message for you, that I had something to share with you, that was kind of my awakening because I felt like I, I have I have something that I need to share with others and I need to stop being afraid to share that I love that I need to start stepping into um, my power I need to empower myself if I'm, if I'm gonna empower others um, because there's so much out there that um, people are not aware of that I would like for them to come on our journey with, if they want to. Not that it, I want you to, but if you're seeking and you're you're ready for that, and you don't have a direction that you that you um, can think of going into or going to, um, and you, you're just looking for guidance and you're looking for answers and you feel like you don't know who to ask, let us help if we can help in any way. Because when we were, when I, I'm not gonna say we. But when I was looking for answers, I felt like there was nowhere I could turn to get answers. Like, I was always searching. But n where do you go? Where do you go? Without looking like, oh, she's cuckoo. She's <laughs> well, right? just so right? you know, I, I went down that rabbit hole too of over Googling. Yeah. And the more I got pieces and I started to notice in the grand scheme of everything, I would get little pebbles that would fill in a void of a puzzle piece that was missing. But everything else would lead me down more confusion. Yes. And eventually, I kind of just really started going inward and connecting with my energies, my higher self, my oversoul. 
and that's when I started to really get my own information yeah. and then more people gravitated towards me and they brought things that I needed to learn about myself yeah. and what we would share and they would bring the puzzle piece and they would bring the puzzle piece and it was like I was just saying in my other video about following the breadcrumbs mm -hmm. and that's exactly what it is it's about following those breadcrumbs that bring it all into proper alignment yes and when you start out on this journey and this is your your path the universe will start putting people and things in your way to keep keep you going further along and the the you asked me a minute ago what began my awakening and I have to tell you and I thought about this today when I changed the way I ate what I was eating and I became plant-based when I started meditating every day and when I started to do yoga I started to align with myself and my purpose. I love that. Because the things we eat, people don't understand, play a huge part in um, on keeping you keeping your abilities hidden. I don't know if that makes sense, but in order to uncover your greatness, you have to, um, the, some of the foods we eat are toxic, a poison. Like I'm just going to put it out there. I don't know. I'm trying to be tactful, but I don't know how to be. My, I've always been told, you need to learn, but I Baby, don't know how to be tactful. whoever stumbles on this video, it's, it's all about them finding it synchronistically. Yes. Yeah. More than likely, they've caught up to the food. And if not, maybe yeah. there's a reason why you're bringing that up because yeah. somebody else may feel your energy. And that's how this all kind of works. Yes. Um, but yes, that was part of the thing that I started doing. I cut meat out. Uh, I cut a lot of chemicals out of my diet. Every so often, I do have... The biggest thing for me, I stopped drinking any forms of tap water, okay, all yes. bottled water. Yes. That really started. Every so often I do have a little bit of tap water, but it, it keeps your abilities locked up. Yes, it, does. it really it, does. It, it sleeps them. It yes. sleepifies. It yes. sleepifies. That's the best way to it describe it. It calcifies. That pineal gland. It that calcifies. Pineal gland. Yep. That pineal gland. Exactly. Especially fluoride. Huh. Especially fluoride. <laughs> but um, yeah, so some of the foods you eat, if you, it's just, to me, for me, it's, it's just common sense for me. For me to eat flesh and put flesh in my body, why would I want to do that? That's, that's something I want to put in my body. Because uh, the way they slaughter these animals, I'm taking on their spirit. You're picking up on their energy. Yeah, I'm picking up on their energy. Yeah. So I don't, to me, it's common sense. I don't want to do that. I don't want to bring that into my world. So once I started eating differently, my pet, completely plant-based, no dairy, no eggs, no cheese, no meat, no turkey, no chicken, um, no sugar, uh, none of that. And I started doing yoga um, at least five days a week. Um, and I started meditating. And now when I meditate and I, I sit there, I can actually, I can actually feel and I can actually hear my intuition speak to me now. As as opposed to before, it was always just a lot of chatter and noise. And I was saying to myself, I do all this meditation, meditating, but nothing ever comes through for me. Nothing, I never, I hear other people talking about all oh, this and that, but nothing ever happens for me. So now that I've been doing all the other things, now it's starting to unfold for me as well. See. And it's something about Mr. Richie's energy, <laughs> our energy, when we're together, it's so electrifying that he actually um, brings a lot of stuff out of me. And vice versa. Right. There are things that she has brought out of me that I'm like, I never had this before. Yeah. But touching base on the food. So each person's journey is different when it comes to the food. Wherever you are in your food journey is okay. Like, I definitely don't eat meat, but I still eat cheese and egg and dairy. And I do have sugar in my diet. Um, but eventually I am guided to kind of switch over to her diet and she introduced me to this green energy drink today that was actually pretty good and I was dipping a banana in and I'm like, this is not so bad. It just tastes like, it tastes like grass, but not like dirty grass. It tastes like clean grass and I, I you guys will get that out there. It's just, it's like, oh. So yes, all that stuff does affect your connection and stuff like that. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to give you the floor on what it was that you provided for me today and you must describe what it was like watching me give that birth because the way you describe I was cracking up when I was recording my other video I'm like I have to leave her to describe it because she just like I just go for it girl just go for it and just a footnote to what Richie said he's so right wherever you are on your journey right now it's exactly where you're supposed to be so never 
beat yourself up about where you are, what you're not doing, because you are exactly where you're supposed to be. So wherever you are in your journey is, is where you're supposed to be. Unconditional self-love yes, for yourself. Yes, yes. And please, 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 I can't stress this enough. Never, ever compare yourself to someone else. I love that. Never, ever compare yourself or be envious of others, okay? Because there's only one of you and there'll never be another. And that's your individual magic. Exactly. And light. And you, have every, each and every one of us have a gift. Yes. Um, so now, touching on what Richie just said. So what Richie and I did today was called um, the emotional journey process. And I love doing this modality on, on clients and people because um, it brings so much out of them. Um, and for me to watch, it's so rewarding because it's so amazing to see the transformation that comes about after the process. Uh, a woman by the name of Brandon Bays is the creator of the process. Um, she has her a story, her own story of how she healed herself through this process. Um, she had discovered she had a tumor and refused to be operated on because she felt as if she could heal herself because she was part of uh, the Tony Robbins um, organization and so she knew the power of of your mind and how you can heal yourself so um, she took it upon herself she asked the doctor to give her a month to heal herself and during that month um, she went to see um, gurus that she and mentors of her own that helped her to heal and through this healing she um, she learned that there was still some trauma left in her body from childhood experiences that she never touched upon because she was always afraid to touch upon them. But she, and she also felt like she dealt with them, like she was, by dealing with them, she was avoiding them. That's how she, de that's how we all deal with stuff we avoid. It. So she felt she had dealt with it because she was avoiding it. Until she came face to face with dealing with her trauma, that was the only way she really healed herself. And she never had the operation and her tumor shrunk and eventually it, it went away. So through this process, the emo emotional journey process, I have individuals and clients um, go deep. They go deep within themselves and I have them face whatever it is they're trying to avoid. Whatever pain they're trying to avoid, whatever past experience or trauma they're trying to avoid, I have them face it um, and go through it. And, what, and I have them drop into it because by dropping into it, eventually you become, you, you find your, your essence, your source and your light, which brings you out of it. Um, because you're not your pain. You're not your trauma. You're not, you're not your experiences. You're not your past. You're not your past. You're pure love. That's what you are. You're pure love, your light, your joy, your peace. That's what we are. So all those other pieces are not really a part of us. They just attach themselves to us by other people. And we allow them to cling on to us. And no one's ever taught us how to rid ourselves of them. Um, so that's what this process does. It helps you rid yourself of those, those attachments that don't belong to you. And by doing that, you free yourself. Emotionally, mentally, and some of us physically. Yes. And Richie is gonna be my first real testimony a hundred percent but again i'm throwing it back to you you need to describe what it was like sitting on that end and i i, I wish i recorded it but it was too it was too sacred of an experience to have the camera on yes. what did it look like when we finally got the core scoop out from your perspective um of that release it actually looked as if something physically was coming out of your body as if there was an alien that was invading your space that was finally like I was exorcist it was an exorcist and I was expelling him from your body because you actually the way you inhale and release and it just all came out and I can see it I can feel it and it was such a moment such a moment and and then when I asked you how would it how do you feel five years from now? What does that feel like? And when you said, I can't even feel it. It's not even here anymore. It was it's a gone. year. It wasn't even five years, girl. It was a year from now. It was like, it was like a, another life. It was, it, 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 
seen so much growth and it this is what I love because what I saw was exactly how she saw it on her side. It was like I was giving birth from the root and sacral chakras to this alien thing. And I when it finally left, it was it was just gone. And as you described, my cellular structure will now align to my joyous vibration as opposed to that inner turmoil and trauma. And it really, it, it really was a beautiful experience. And like I said, there were tears, but I didn't wipe the tears away. I let them heal yes, me by yes, sitting on yes, me, yes. feeling that pain, removing my ego and my judgments though. I went in judging an ego. I was like, ah, within five minutes, I'm like, yeah, I know why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the other thing. You said something very uh, poignant. Specific right there when you said cellular and your molecules a lot of trauma it's trapped in our cells and even our ancestors their trauma gets trapped in our cells and so it becomes a cycle and we don't realize our pattern like the way our parents are with us and then they inflict that trauma onto us we do the same things to our children until we learn how to heal ourselves, we'll never break that, that cycle of trauma because you know, we'll keep passing it down because it's, it's stuck in ourselves. So it, that was very um, important what you just said about how it, you can feel the release on a cellular level. And also, um, I had a, oh, I just missed my train of thought. Um, Bring it back, girl. I know. Um, with this process, God, I can't remember my my thought. You had said something, and I had a, a and it brought me to another thought. But the healing that goes into this work, when I do the when I do this work on people and the healing, was it about ego? Was it about how I was ego and judging when I first mm -hmm. laid down? No, no. Mm -mm. Oh, this is what it was. Ah, see, I knew those words would bring it back, though. But those it are the words spirit was like spit out. When you were there, when you were in the process, and you got a chance to speak to the people that played a huge role in your life, that caused the trauma, yeah. and you got a chance to have a voice and express yourself from that child's point of view, what did that feel like for you? It was, at first, scary, absolutely. Um, because when I had voiced it when I was a child, I was taught to basically shut up, we're the adults, we know better, and this, you're too sensitive. This was a safe space where I could literally speak my truth, my feelings. And that was what was so freeing because there was no fear of something coming back. It was literally, and through her guidance and her allowing me to release and holding that beautiful light space that she does, it, it helped me get it out like I had no idea that was even sitting inside of me I knew I had done the work but I knew something was still there because I could feel it I could feel it moving and growing like my vibration it was like you got to get this out I couldn't figure out how to get it out though and she helped me so after that what did you what did you bring through after that about not just speaking my truth to them but also how to transmute it into forgiveness because until we learn, it's not even about, and you, and this is like a cliche, it's not even about forgiving them, but it's about forgiving yourself and letting that anger go for you. And letting whatever that resentment is or whatever you're holding on, because the only person that's hurting is you. So by uh, allowing yourself to forgive them, you're healing yourself. They, not, you, they don't even have to be around. They don't even have to know you forgave them. It has nothing to do with them. They this don't is all even about need you. to know what you've said to them. Exactly. It's all about you. This is all about you. Um, so finding forgiveness to let that go so you can let it go. And it, it legit, I came out and as my words were coming, I intuitively just picked up this is what's coming through, be raw, be vulnerable, it's safe. And as I was speaking and Lisa was asking her questions, 
I was going with real raw responses. And every time she said really good, it wasn't just what she was saying. It was like the angels that walk with her in her world were saying yes. So you were feeling it in your light body spectrums as well. And it just was, when we touched on my joy and my magics underneath that toxic venom, it, it was, there was no turning back. I just had to get past that deep, deep, dark layer. Yes. And there yes. was, I was ready to keep going. Yes. Once yes. I poked that hole with that straw. Yes. And it was like, Yo. But you had to, you had to get to that level. Then you had to get below that level. Absolutely. To see what was there. Absolutely. Yeah. Because a lot of times we touch on that level and then we run away. We don't want to go any further. We just want to stop there and run away. Because we don't want to know what's there. We don't want to feel it. We want to avoid it. And a lot of us, we mask our pain with drugs, with alcohol, with abuse. We mask that pain because we don't want to feel it. So we try to numb it. No one has ever taught us. You don't have to run away from it. You don't have to try to avoid it. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen if you felt it, if you went through it? Just feel it. You cry. You cry. That's you release it. You release it. It's a release. Yeah. You release it. Yeah. But but we, we tend to avoid it and run away. I think a part of that is also uh, the movies and the TV shows that we're exposed to and then people's programming. Yes. And music. A lot music of is also another yeah. one too. Like, a lot of there's a lot of programming. Um, and there was one special thing that Richie said during his session, not to give too much away, but he said, um, the reason why a lot of us experience what we've experienced in our lives is because the people that traumatize us are insecure themselves. They're still children within themselves. Even adults, they still come from that childhood perspective um, because we've never healed that child within us. And, all, and that's what needs to be healed, the child within us, because we still are working off of that child, that, that pain. That, that child experience from the past. Um, and that's what needs to be healed. So a lot of times during this process, I have you meet that child. From whatever age you experience that trauma, have you come and you meet your, ch your child at that age. And you get to um, embrace that child. You get to speak to that child. You get to acknowledge that child. And you get to ask that child for forgiveness. And you get to teach that child the wisdom that you have today as an adult. Yes. So it's, it's, whoo, it's an amazing process. It's an amazing process and I would love to do more work like this on more people. And you will, because you're sending that out, you're sending that vibration out to help people. So we're, we're basically almost done. But I am kind of getting, um, do you want to hear a little light language? Yes. Is your heart open to it? Yes. So that is your free will choice. Yes. yes. ボフクトシルボトシベラケタオロトシミアラケタオロトシミラクトソコオロトソエラタハクノオココロナハイロコトシピオロトシリポアレレタムソカタシャオコシリニオトシニミアラハロコタサマハイラコトシルボオシカラ
um, bringing in your cosmic heritage, um, your shamanic ancestors, which I did not know about with you. It's very interesting. Um, and to start a journal. Okay. To start a journal of manifestation to help align you to this path that you are asking for. To help people like you did with me today. Right. And opening your heart a little bit and a little bit more of your third eye. Okay. Very, it was very light. And I was just looking at you and you're like, I'm, I'm like, she's kind of like sucked in. And yeah. I don't know where yeah, she yeah, is. Yeah, she's like, I don't know where she just went. What? I'm like, what? Yeah, that, that was, that's why I always ask, I'm like, is that your free will choice? Yes. Because, you know, one of the things I've encountered in light working communities is there's an ego and people think I'm just going to slam you with what I think you need. Yes. And it doesn't work like that. At least not from my spectrum. I don't choose to operate from that. I choose to leave the choice to you. And then whatever the energy decides to move through, I get bits and pieces of it and some of it doesn't translate because it's more of what your DNA needs to start realigning to and reawakening and activating and activating uh, we're still working on those activation codes yes yes uh, that is a conversation that will open itself up in the future I'm telling you guys this guy is really magical because when you're <laughs> around him you feel magical <laughs> I know you're probably looking at this video saying, ooh, they're kind of, ooh. No. no the, I hope not, I hope not because this is real. I hope you feel the magic because this is real magic happening right here, right now. Because this guy, I tell you, every time I'm around him, I can feel something turning on in me. Oh, my God. It's kind of like the conversation we had yesterday. Remember how you gave me the perspective as I'm cleansing myself, my vibration goes up, um, and then we reworded the yes. way you had put yes. it. Yes, yes. It's, it's kind Repel. of... hell. It's, yeah, like some people will be drawn and some people just won't. Yes. And, you know, the higher your vibration goes, uh, and there is somebody out there on YouTube who spoke about this, and the top of the mountain... Um, can oftentimes feel a little lonely, but at the same time, when you're up there, you're realizing the amount of work that you're doing for Gaia and her children, and the stars and all, all that stuff. And it just, like a day like today, it, it, I literally was saying thank you to the universe for the abundance that came into my life and for my birthday, yeah. for my birthday. I, I am a master builder and right now I'm master building myself so that my intentions to master build are from a, a place of purity. And it's funny, you and I were supposed to go to the spa today, and I said it would be better if we did this work instead. Yep, yep. And this is how I saw the day playing out, right. but my ego got in the way yesterday. Right. Yes. Why well, was your ego saying yesterday? Oh, my ego wanted to jump and do the other thing that yes. we spoke about. Yes. And when you, when I put out to divinity, oh, here's another way that divinity <laughs> works, guys. So we were on the phone yesterday, and I was all like, Duh! I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do because I was fighting what intuitively my higher self was guiding me to do and what her higher self was guiding her to do. And I hung up the phone and I just said, all right, divinity, give me a prime slap in the face. What am I to do? I think she called me back in five minutes. She goes, yeah, you've been, what did you say? I've been um, told to say Tuesday. You'll use a very specific word though, <laughs> not outvoted, but it was somewhere and I was oh, like- Oh, I know, I, I forgot, I forgot. Yeah, it was, it was somewhere where it was yeah. like, it was like, oh, I just literally asked the Vinny to give me it and she got the answer. And, and I was like, I've been told to say Tuesday. Tuesday, so we're, we're doing something on Tuesday, Tuesday together. Yeah. But my little gay ass ego got in the way yesterday. And I was like, I can't think straight. And I couldn't think straight because I was trying to control. Yes. Trying to control from programming from my childhood, you know? Yeah, but I got the message last week when we were together that you needed to do this. Oh, I knew it when I started pulling, when I was in your presence, the, the black chains going yeah. down and some, and I'm like, yo, I've never done this before. So I got something going on here, mm -hmm. working with our energies. Um, and I'm grateful that we did this today. And this was what needed to be done today. This had to be done and today. It, and you gave birth on your birthday. I, <laughs> and then we saged the shit out of her room. Ah, you gave birth. Saged the shit ah, out of her room. Say, what did you name your baby? <laughs> you gave birth on your birthday. I, I, oh, I don't know what's the name of it. I love that you gave birth on your birthday. 
your birthday. Happy birthday. So you'll birthday. always remember this birthday. I will always remember this you birthday. You will always. Oh, I will always That was the best birthday. gift I could give you. I don't it, know any other gift. It truly was. It truly was. I don't know, but I'm like gift. at the top of the friendship chain right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was the best birthday gift ever. And I'm know. so grateful for it. <laughs> and I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful. I, 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 you know, Lisa's a prime example of, of knowing that you're in the right moment and on the right path because we were talking about this before. If I didn't do the choices that I chose, I wouldn't be with her right now. I wouldn't have been sitting in her kitchen today on my birthday doing this hardcore work. And it and is hard. It, it, is, it, is, it hard. is work. It's, it's not work. easy. It's hard. It's, it's very work. hard. It's, it's raw. It's vulnerable. But it makes you stronger, wiser, and more patient. Yes. And also, I tell my clients, you have to be ready for this kind of work. Don't just do it because you want to try it, you want to see what it's like. You have to be ready because it's a door that you're opening that you can't close. And it's going to pull a lot of stuff out of you and it's going to bring up a lot of stuff. So it's something that you you have to be ready for and it has to be, you have to be in that part of your journey where you're ready for it. Because it's not something you take lightly. Because uh, when Richie does his video tomorrow, more stuff is going to come up today and tonight. And he's going to be posting something that he didn't even know was going to come up. <coughs> some Excuse me. <laughs> Burped on the truth. I, I That had to come out. It's moving already. But it's the same thing with the, the light language as well. Everyone like wants their activations and stuff like that, which is why she got a very little bit and I stayed from a distance. Because, you know, people um, activate, 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 activate. But it takes a little while for those activations to assimilate into your system and reawaken uh, that DNA coding. So it, it's all energy. Energy work, like, it, it causes a flow and all that stuff. So, you know, for you as well, that little bit that you got, I don't know what it will do for your system, but it will do what it needs to do. And, you know, it does also help move through blocks. Yes. So... And to bounce off of that, I am an energy life coach, so energy, a lot of us have energy blocks, and I help to move those blocks as an energy life coach, as a coach, yes, yes, and it's all about energy, everything, about energy. Is, everything is energy, Every, everything is, I can't say it enough, and everything is energy. Even my car is energy. Everything. That, that unicorn Everything, is everything is energy. Yeah. Everything. Everything so is energy. If you feel stuck or if you feel blocked, it's because you're somewhere in your energy field, you have a blockage that needs to be shifted and need to be moved. So everything's energy. You're not flowing, baby. You're not flowing. Flowing, flowing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You're playing with that unicorn. I, I'm gonna say I gave birth to a unicorn today. That's you what I'm gonna go. I, I gave birth. birth. Nah, yeah, you, you don't want to know. I could draw when I gave birth to. Okay. I mean, it was gonna, like. Wait, I'm gonna say this right now. You're probably gonna go home and take a huge dump. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. You're gonna, whatever you had, you're gonna release it. When well, you we get also home. cut those fucking cords, so yeah. you know it's very yeah. interesting because not to be so graphic and talking about poop, but like for two <laughs> nights in a row, I've had not two nights in a row, but two nights in the last week, I've had dreams of me being constipated and releasing poop yeah. and you know I knew what it meant intuitively but I know that whenever this decides to move through yeah. mm -hmm. and that's just a release there's another form it's of release. Just a release I took yeah. the biggest pee afterwards yeah. and I yeah. could feel the energy yeah. leaving my system yeah. I knew that's what was going it's on it's just another part of re releasing exactly in your body yeah. exactly yes. yes and that's a cleanse people it's a cleanse it's a cleanse it's, it's a, a cleanse. cleanse it's just not a clonic <laughs> No, I don't do clonic. Not, 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 uh, surrender mode again the word surrender just constant surrender but this is who I spent my afternoon with for my fabulous birthday and now I'm off to go do some evening stuff for my fabulous birthday and just continue <laughs> these video journeys uh, so what I like to do when I end my video so come forward and we're gonna do we're gonna do this all right well, I do this for everybody singing, uh, song. We're good. <laughs> no singing. I'm gonna get out of the car and dance with me. We're gonna singing. break it down like it's hot. So I always end my videos with 
you've got this dudes and do that. So we're gonna do that together. Get those finger points out. Put that and not not no we're not we're not what is this? We are not flying like superheroes right now. Oh dirty bird. So you ready? Yeah. Uh, on the count of three, we're gonna, we're wait, gonna close it up. Wait, wait, can I say one thing? One last thing? Sure. Just free your mind and the rest will follow. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. One. Two, three. You got this, dudes, and do that. Yo, yo what? Yo, what? No, yo, no, 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 no. We're gonna do that again. I did not have to say that. That's this because you time. had to take over the okay, camera. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, okay, what, what right. are you saying? What are you saying? We got this, dudes, and do that. Is that right? You got this. You got this. Okay, we're, we're sending that energy okay. of right. light. You ready? ready? One, two, three. You, you got, got this, dudes, and do that. Huh? Much love, my loves. Thank you for enjoying this video. Uh, please subscribe uh, and, and stay tuned because today is the start of um, this. I want to say two snaps up in a circle, but that is so in living color from the 90s. And I don't really give a crap. Um, but yeah, this, this, I love this. I love, this is my, you're the second person I've had in the vehicle today. And I just love the way this feels because Spiritual it's where confessions from the <laughs> <laughs> we're also showing how it's collaborative yes. you yes. know and we're we're opening up an energy field in this vehicle that is moving through the cameras for sure i love it Me too. i love what you're doing Oh, oh, I look forward to our workshops coming soon. Yes, we're doing coming workshops. Soon, coming yes. soon. And empath. retreats. We're doing the empath. Empath. And what is what, what are you bringing to the table now? <laughs> I'm the empath. That's about all we need to know right now. We're going to have a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you. Bye. <laughs>